pleasure. If, if you listen to my intro, you heard me saying the venue is now confirmed. The dreaded Baba Yara Sports Stadium. How are, how are Nigerians <laughs> reacting after they got to know that the match will not be played at Cape Coast? But rather, the dreaded, and I'm, I'm making emphasis on the dreaded Baba Yara Sports Stadium. Yes, the Ghanaians have tried their best in playing for politics to ensure that the game is uh, at that stadium. And uh, there's no problem. We are not going to be uh, taken by surprise. We are not going to be scared of what they to play. Whether it's in Kumasi, whether it's in anywhere you, you host the game, we're going to get ready for the game. Prepare adequately. I can assure you that we'll bring the game to Ghana. to Abuja. So, irrespective of the fact that the match we played at the Baba Yara Sports Stadium, Nigerians are not scared. You are you are fully prepared for the Black Stars of Ghana. Yes, we, we know the Ghanaians uh, right from time. We know that they will try their best to ensure that the game is played at uh, uh, in front of their best fans. We know. So, when the game was being said to be postponed or to be moved because of the venue, one venue is not good enough, we knew that uh, the Ghanaians are not to be trusted and we, we knew that they wanted to play the game in front of their, their best fans. And we don't have any problem with that, it's normal. We also do the same in Abuja, that is the capital of our country. And we are going to ensure that we get something from the game in, uh, in, Ghana, in Ghana before we come back uh, to Abuja. Oh, so when there was this challenge of venue, you knew very well that Ghanaians were playing some gimmick. That is what you're telling me. Yes, it's politics. Yes, it's politics. We know. And we saw it from, from far. But uh, no matter what uh, the Ghanaians do, no matter how they try to move the game around, we know that eventually the game will be played. And on that day, I can assure you, my brother, that we're going to give our best. I will get something away from Ghana. Trust me, we'll get something away from Ghana. Coach Augustine Oguavon released his squad about three uh, or a month ago. As I speak to you now, I know Nigerian journalists who, who, who are anxious to see the kind of list coach Otuado and his men will release. Is that to your concern, to you people? It's not. We already know the best talents the Ghanaians have. We already know who and who is going to play. You understand? We know those are not available due to suspension and the nation's scope. So we, 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 there's no player is going to call up. That will be a surprise. Maybe the Sally Sufa of Southampton, if he scored up, will be a surprise. But aside from that, any player that scored up into the into the Ghana national team is not going to be a surprise to the Eagles because we know your key players already, the practice of this world, the are use of this world, and we are ready for them. Trust me, we are completely ready for them. And our aim is if we don't get a victory in Ghana, we will at least get a point in Kumasi. I can assure you. You you sound very confident. What, what might be your reason? The reason is because the the, 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 the Nigerian players know that uh, the the World Cup is too important for us to miss out. Especially at this stage, it is a different ball game if we didn't get to the playoffs at all. But we are in the playoffs, so why miss out of the mundial when we are in the playoffs already? So be it Ghana, be it Egypt, be it anything we, we could have faced, I can assure you, uh, without any shadow of a doubt, that Nigeria is going to make it into the into the into the mundial. We we'll definitely get uh, one over Ghana. I can assure you. And I, and I want you to call me back after uh, both games have been played, uh, after AP4. I will be having a discussion all over again. And I'll tell you, I told you that Nigeria is going to qualify for the World Cup. You, you just said the Nigerian players know the importance of this game. So what makes you think that Ghanaian players also don't know the importance of this game? I'm Nigerian, and I have to speak for my country and my people. I know that I never said that spirit is going to uh, be reviewed again. The Ghanaians, they know Nigeria, and they know that this is not the first time we are going to be stopping them from going to the World Cup. We've, we've done that before, and uh, it's not going to be a new thing. We have a very uh, uh, talented crop of players, in which you are aware of. A lot of them playing in very top leagues in, in the world. I'm sure the Ghanaians, deep down, they are scared of the Super Eagles, and that's why they are trying to play so much gimmicks and politics, and also trying to hide their team list. But that doesn't matter. It's not shake us at all. We have released our team list weeks ago. So it's not a big deal for us. We're just going there to do our best and get the results. That's all. You, you are listening to us live from Ash 101.1 FM Kumase. On the line is a colleague journalist um, who was for Lead City Radio in Faraway Ibadan in Nigeria by name Toby Olubi. We're talking about the all important game to be played at the dreaded Baba Yara Sports Stadium on the 25th of March. Toby, 
what, 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 yeah, what, what are Nigerians saying towards this game? Back home, what are, what are your people saying? Well, I like, people are just demanding for one thing get us into the World Cup and go to uh, Augustine Gravon. That is the only task he has in front of him. Just get Nigeria into the World Cup and every other thing will be taken care of. And we know, we believe that uh, it's not a bad right, but uh, it's something that we have to achieve. I believe definitely that we're going to get into the World Cup. Uh, and it's going to be unfortunate for Ghana because they will be missing out. Uh, is, is, is your government aware that he's, he's coming to meet the three wise men in the shape of Otowado, coach Masoud Didi Dramani, and then um, George Boateng? Is your government aware of, of the technical team he's coming to meet in Kumase? Well, we are aware that uh, after the Major Cup, the the technical team of the Ghanaians had to be shaken up, but we didn't shake us up. We stopped to coach against the Gwavo. We took us to the Major Cup, even though we didn't go as far as we'd like. But we believe that uh, in continuity, that uh, he's going to do better in the playoffs against Ghana. And that's why we decided to stick with him instead of bringing in uh, 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 the, the Portuguese uh, Parcero. So, unlike the Ghanaians, we stopped to our coaching staff, and I can assure you that's going to be one of the best decisions the NFL has ever made, that's sticking to coach against the Gwavo. Toby, you, you surprised me this afternoon because if, if there is one nation who is always afraid to meet the black stars of Ghana, if there is one national team who, who, who always panics anytime he's facing Ghana, is the Super Eagles of Nigeria. So I'm very surprised you, you, you are sounding very confident as if you don't know you are coming to meet the black stars of Ghana. It's a derby. It's a derby. It's a huge game. Uh, West African derby, uh, two countries that have always got one over the other uh, over over several years. But we have to be confident. Is Ghana? Ghana are playing against. They're not playing against Brazil or Germany. They're playing against Ghana. We can definitely hold our head up over water. I can assure you. So there's nothing to worry about for us. We are not playing any politics or any gaming with you guys. We're just releasing our squad at the right time. We are giving out the right information, and we can even assure you when you come to Abuja, we'll be giving you the best hospitality possible conducive environment will not play any form of gimmicks we gotta show you you talking as if Ghanaians we are playing gimmicks we, we also welcome you wholeheartedly we, 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 we are going to play the match in a very peaceful atmosphere but one thing we know for sure is that at the end of the, of the day it's going to be a resounding victory for the black stars of Ghana please call me at the end of both ties and let's have the discussion again I'll be glad to receive your call at the end of the, uh, the first and second leg <laughs> Surely we will we, we'll definitely talk, and um, uh, we we will also come to Ibadan. We we we'll come to Nigeria, and then we we, we we'll definitely qualify. C can you give us um the, the team p p t team news as to when the Nigerians will be arriving and that stuff? Yes, uh, the you know the the leagues are still going on. But uh, from next week, the players will start arriving in the camp. There's no home base player in the squad, so all the players will be coming in from uh, different parts of the of the globe. So as you know, Nigeria Nigerian stars are, are, are far are far wide, so they'll be coming in one after the other. Uh, as of now, we don't know who's going to arrive first, but very soon they start trooping in uh, from next week. I can assure you. When should we expect the Super Eagles in, in Ghana? Um, I, I'm, I'm not sure of the travel schedule yet. I'm not sure yet, but I'm sure uh, they'll be arriving maybe uh, the 20, maybe 22nd, 23rd, since the game is on the 25th. So let's say two, three days in Ghana, I'm sure they will arrive because it's just uh, an hour flight uh, from Abuja all the way to Ghana. So it's not uh, really a big deal for us. They'll be well rested and they'll be ready to go on the 25th. Are you confident of Nigeria qualifying? Because of the absence of Ghana's El Capitano, did they are you inability to play in this two legged affair? Uh, well, Ayu was not spectacular in the Nations Cup. I think he's gone past his glory days. So even if he was available, I don't think it would have been any worry uh, for the uh, Nigerian uh, 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 Super Eagles. I think the Ghana should be more worried of the front line of the, of the Eagles, the likes of Chukweze, who is on fire for Villarreal, you know, that's for Simeon on fire for Napoli, uh, uh, Moses Simon as well. Uh, on fire for the months in, in France. I think the Ghanaians will really do their uh, 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 homework in you know, order to stop these boys. You know, these boys are firing from all cylinders. And I, can, and I assure you deep down that when they come to Ghana, they're going to hurt the Ghanaians. Trust me. Are you are you aware, in the absence of the day, are you? We have what, the, the master, the, the mythful dynamo in the shape of uh, um, Thomas Partey, who plays his trade for Arsenal in the EPL. Are you aware of that? 
Yes, I'm aware. It's, it's a fantastic pitch of form. Uh, it's playing good football for us, no doubt. But uh, I tell you, it's, it's only good uh, off the ball. Uh, defensively, it's a stalwart. But when he has the ball, what more can he do? You can't compare what he offers with the ball to what uh, someone like uh, Didi Ayu will offer with the ball. So he's a completely different player. But he's uh, is a good Ghanaian player, I must say. But uh, in that midfield, it's going to be a battle between he and Wilfred Ndidi, who plays his trade for Leicester City, also in the English Premier League. So uh, that will be an interesting battle to see. Uh, in both legs. Will you be coming to Ghana? No, no, no. But I'll be in Abuja. I'll be in Abuja. Definitely. But I'll not be coming to Ghana. <laughs> is, is, it be, is it because of the kind of scoreline we will give you? Um, that is why you are afraid to come or, or what? <laughs> we know our boys will do the business in Ghana. So no need to be there. So we want to be there on the second leg where we'll be celebrating our qualification. Uh, uh, to the World Cup in Qatar because I also be going to the World Cup in Qatar. I will be booking my flights as soon as we get our ticket against Ghana on April 4th. It, it, it's quite unfortunate Nigeria will, will be missing out. But I'm all the same. Thanks so much for talking to us live from Nigeria. <laughs> um, safe, safe, uh, we wish the Super Eagles um, safe trip to Ghana. But that that is one thing for sure. Remember, the game is at the dreaded oh. Baba Yara Sports Stadium. No problem, I've read that. We'll see you. We'll see you. Thanks so much for your time. All right.